Thank you. Thank you all very much. And what a, what a beautiful sight. And what a beautiful stage. It's a, a great honor to be in this space. And I just want to start by echoing the thanks to, uh, to all the Eat Art folks and the Mondo Spider folks and all of the crazy artists in the house. Thank you all for being here and representing. I am uh, Gregor Robertson. I am hoping to be the next mayor of Vancouver. And the reason that I want to be the mayor of Vancouver is to empower the citizens of this city to take responsibility for our future, to step up in this living democracy and build the future that we want for this city, step by step, working together. It's a very simple principle that uh, our, our uh, forebears put in place to give us the system of democracy. Unfortunately, we're in a time when, uh, when most people feel disempowered and, and disgruntled about politics. That's something we've got to turn around. And it's not going to happen uh, because we're getting browbeaten. It shouldn't happen because we're in desperate straits dealing with crisis. It should happen because we realize as, uh, as citizens with compassion who believe there can be a brighter future that we have the ability and we have the responsibility to step up and do it. So uh, here's to November and all of us rallying to take charge of the city to build that brighter future. So there, there are uh, four big goals that I'm putting forward because I, I'm, I'm starting from the premise that what the city lacks right now is a vision, is a vision for what we need to do in this city to set ourselves up for the future and a vision for what the city needs to look like in the very near future for all the people who live here. And the vision that I'm putting forward in this time of, uh, of, of a leadership void when the city and the province and the country and the whole world is, is grappling with unbelievable urban challenges, uh, inequities, homelessness, poverty, uh, struggles that we in the most affluent, one of the most affluent cities in the world face on our streets right now, even in a time with incredible wealth and potential, that we gotta figure it out here and we gotta help the rest of the world figure it out in all the other 413 cities that have more than a million people in them. It's all, it's, it's all at a tipping point right now on this planet for dealing with uh, living sustainably, learning how to take care of uh, our society as a whole, and all of that hinges on leadership and political will. So a vision is at the core of this leadership. And my, my first goal in this city, and this is a short-term goal, this is a goal that needs to be achieved within 10 years, and that is to end homelessness in Vancouver. We have uh, somehow let ourselves slide into uh, in a desperate straits and uh, literally have thousands of people within a few miles of us here sleeping outside last night, sleeping in the rain yesterday and last night. And uh, this is a situation that we can turn around, that many other cities around the world have solved. It's, uh, it's all about building permanent housing, making sure people have access to homes and they have the supports for mental illness, for addictions, uh, for getting employment that they need along with those homes. And this is a problem that has been solved in many other places that we need to solve here in Vancouver urgently. And that solution it comes with dealing with affordable housing more broadly. We need a construction boom for affordable housing in this city. <laughs> affordable affordable housing is so lacking right now and, and it's a huge contributor to the loss of artists, the loss of, uh, of entrepreneurs, small business people, the people who run this city day after day uh, that can no longer afford to live here. We need the same kind of scale boom that we're seeing in our skyline with, uh, with condo towers to happen with affordable housing. And that's, a, that's ensuring that every development that happens going forward has affordable housing integrated in its plan. That we just, that's, a, that's a given in all the development that we do right now. That, that needs to be the next concrete step. So solving homelessness and an affordable housing boom, the first big goal in this vision. The second big goal is to make Vancouver the greenest city on the planet. <laughs> and 
And being the green, greenest city on the planet is, uh, is a big challenge for us, although we are in a, in, a, in a good position to do this. We are still among uh, the top 10 or 20 in the world as a city that, that has uh, addressed a number of the, the issues regarding impact on the environment and our footprint as a city, but we've been sliding down the pack as many other cities take leadership on this. We need leadership here in this city that's focused on clean transportation and ensuring our transit system is as good as it can possibly be, ensuring that we can get around safely on bikes and on foot, making sure we have clean energy here in the city at a local scale to heat and cool our buildings, that we have the greenest building code in the country or the continent for that matter, and, and ensuring that we have local food systems deal with our waste and compost and have effectively zero waste and a significant percentage of our food grown locally so that we're set up, we're self-sufficient on the food and energy side of the equation and that we're able to be a resilient city going forward as, as the challenges of climate change bear down on us. This city should be carbon smart, it should develop the technologies that can be implemented in cities around the world right now. This is a, a massive economic opportunity for Vancouver because we have piloted a number of these technologies and ideas. We just need to implement them here in our city, demonstrate them, and then export all that brilliance around the world. It'll make a difference for the whole planet. <laughs> Third big goal that that I'm putting forward as this vision for Vancouver is to make the city safe for our kids and our elders. And that's ensuring that as we grow to be a bigger and bigger city, that we are not afraid on our streets, that, that we have confidence our kids and our elders can walk the streets, can be in the parks, can, uh, can live in this city without fear of crime, without fear of horrendous traffic, all the impacts that, uh, that many of the cities around the world are, are wrestling with. And that's uh, more effective and excellent policing, that's neighborhood safety, that's traffic safety. It's trying to take the city actually back in time when it was a gentler, kinder, gentler city uh, that, that looked after all of its citizens. So that's, that's a key priority is, is to make sure we have a city safe for kids and elders. And finally, the fourth piece of, of this, the fourth big goal, is to make Vancouver a creative capital in the world. 